Theophilus. The first four I wrote concerned everything Jesus did and taught. From the beginning, right up to the day when he was taken up into heaven, before he was taken up, working in the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus instructed the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he showed them that he was alive with many convincing proofs. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days, speaking to them about God's kingdom. While they were eating together, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised. He said, this is what you heard from me. John baptized with water, but in only a few days you'll be baptized. Sorry, while they were eating together, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the Father had promised. While they were eating together, yeah, I already said that. He said, this is what you heard from me, John baptized with water, but in only a few days, you'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit. As a result, those who had gathered together asked Jesus, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel now? Jesus replied, it isn't for you. You know the times you're seeking. But the Father has set by his own authority, rather you will receive power. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After Jesus said these things, as they were watching, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight while he was going away. And as they were staring toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood next to them. They said, Galileans, why are you standing here? Looking toward heaven, this Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way that you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem. From the Mount of Olives, which is near Jerusalem, the Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upstairs room where they were staying. Peter, John, James, and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James, Alphaeus' son, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, James' son, all reunited in their devotion to prayer, along with some women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. During this time, the family of believers was a company of about 120 persons. Peter stood among them and said, Brothers and sisters, the scripture that the Holy Spirit announced beforehand through David had to be fulfilled. This was the scripture concerning Judas, who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. This happened even though he was one of us and received a share of this ministry. In fact, he bought a field with the payment he received for his injustice. Falling head first, he burst open in the middle and all his intestines spilled out. This became known to everyone living in Jerusalem. So they called that field in their own language, Halkadama, or field of blood. It is written in the Psalm scroll, let his home become deserted and let there be no one living in it and give his position of leadership to another. Therefore, we must select one of those who have accompanied us during the whole time the Lord Jesus lived among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when Jesus was taken from us. This person must have come along with us a witness to his resurrection. So they nominated to Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Justice and Matthias. They prayed, Lord, show us clearly which one you have chosen for among these two to take the place of this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. When they cast lots, the law fell on Matthias. He was added to the eleven apostles.